Eat some bitch. What's up with it, everybody? It's your boy RDR, and welcome back to RDR Food Reviews. And today, I saw a commercial on TV that Little Caesars is bringing back this um, deep, deep dish uh, bacon wrap pizza. And I love Little Caesars. Uh, absolutely love Little Caesars. And my favorite pizza is the deep, deep dish pizza. And I never ever had the bacon wrap version, so that totally blew my mind and I'm like I got to take a trip to Little Caesars and uh see what they talking about see what these pieces is talking about so uh so what we're gonna do is we're gonna slab up we're gonna hop in the slab and we're gonna take a trip to Little Caesars and we're gonna see what this piece is talking about today okay so without further ado this is already our food reviews eat something bitch <laughs> pizza now again I have never ever tried this pizza before I'm I love absolutely love the deep dish pizza that is my favorite pizza from Little Caesars I'm so happy that I'm gonna be trying this new bacon wrapped deep dish pizza I got my twisted cheese on deck my favorite buttery garlic sauce already so that's what we got here today and let's stop bullshitting and let's open this son bitch up. Oh, man, hold on. Oh boy. It's pretty cutty. Oh. Oh yeah, nigga. Ooh. Let's get this box out the fucking way. Oh. Oh my god. Bitch almost fell apart, but it's so dangerously cheesy. Look at the bacon wrap deep dish pizza. You see the bacon on the side of that bitch right there? Right there. And I got the three meat, as you can see. It's on all corners, Cuddy. Let me see if I get that thumbnail, baby. Ooh. That should be about right. This is going down, baby. Oh yeah, and I might I might do a couple of little chop talk topics that I haven't done in a long time. You know what I'm talking about? Chop topics. Let me go ahead and get a quick moment of prayer before I mess up. Father, thank you for this food I'm about to receive. Help this food nourish my body, make me stronger as a person, stronger as a man. And please bless us as we grow hungry. As I pray to you, please find them something to eat. In your holy gracious, my name we pray. Amen. Love you, Father. All right, now. Favorite buttery garlic sauce, boy. Shit is elite. Mm. So, yeah. This uh, bacon deep dish pizza. They said that it's, this is a returning item. Um, so, let's see what's up. You know what I'm saying? Let's, uh, okay. Ah! Hey, okay. Hey. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Lord Hammers. There is a God. Oh, man. Uh, every time I eat this pizza, I'm in like straight heaven. Now, I'm going to be so honest with you guys. The bacon effect is nothing really so surprising. I mean, it's just bacon around the crust. 
which is a cool concept. So creativity is a plus. Taste-wise, it's the same. I'm saying really meaty, airy with the deep dish. The ingredients are superb. I like to char with the bacon on the crust. That's wonderful. Ah, refreshing. Damn it, Twisted Teas. Hit your boy up. You know what I'm saying? Hit your boy up. Let's talk business. All right. So, I want to talk about the first story. We are going to do a lot of eating and try as much to do what, not too much talking. So, I'm going to try to go by real fast in this. Pause. So, Honey Boo Boo's mama, if you don't know who Honey Boo Boo is, she's like some reality TV star or was. I think it's like TLC or something like that. Her mama, Mama Joe, Mama Joe. She got arrested <laughs> her and her um weirdo ass boyfriend um <laughs> uh Gene Doc or Doke or something like that. That the weirdo niggas look like. Already oh, they got arrested for um <laughs> for uh domestic violence, right? In their home in Alabama and Macon County. Yeah, y'all still down there? Anyway, they got into a fight, probably, you know what I'm saying? Over the funds. When the popo searched the crib, they found drug paraphernalia and um uh, a possession of control band substance. God damn! And uh, dope Eugene, that nigga Eugene got arrested for domestic violence. So he was, you know, what I'm saying putting them, trying to put them things on Mama June. So they put both of their ass in jail and found some drugs on them niggas. Should have never gave you niggas money. <laughs> never. You can move a trailer park after them. You can move a trailer park after trailer park. But you can't move the trailer park resident after trailer parks. If that kind of makes sense. Probably not. Mmm. Mmm. My mama is a bitch hitting and cutting. <clears throat> Damn, y'all over here got. Control band substance? I'm not a snack guy, but. I think that's like ice and shit. You niggas ice skating in the trail park? Damn shame, Mama Jean over here, Mama June, over here making Honey Boo Boo look bad. <sighs> CTLC, that's what you get for trying to make these niggas famous out here in these streets. <laughs> well, since she's back for another season. All right, so this uh, weirdo ass story, Cuddy. This New Jersey dude returns the overdue library book to middle school after 53 years later. What the fuck? Nigga, why did you? I'd have heard one for the day. This nigga here, 
a nigga named Larry Claimy of Farlon, or whatever kind of shit is that, he recently discovered the family book of verse by Louis Gannett while cleaning in his home basement. So this nigga felt so horny that he was like, you know what, I'm finna go return this bitch to the school after 53 years. Cut it. Nigga, just by the first year when you graduated, nigga, that book became yours. I remember I had absolutely had books when I was in school. From my intermediate school that I had in high school, nigga. I put them hoes in the garage sale. <laughs> they become yours, nigga. They ain't gonna do nothing with them, especially this day and age. Everything is on the computer. You niggas is weird. Next one. First, I want y'all to get a look at this nigga here. Look at this nigga right here. Look at this nigga. <laughs> that nigga look crazy. <coughs> that fellow right there was accused of dipping his nuts in some... <laughs> accused of dipping his nuts in salad at a Mexican restaurant he worked for. This was in Knoxville, Tennessee. So anybody in Knoxville, Tennessee, because I'm pretty sure like any other town in other states, <coughs> they got a whole bunch of Hispanic restaurants. Even in small towns they do. <coughs> Excuse me. Should be about right now. Anyway, <laughs> this takes place, like I said, in uh, Knoxville, uh, Tennessee, or whatnot. This guy name is Howard Matthew Webb. <laughs> this nigga here, when he was in court, was laughing at the judge or whatever, and the judge told him that this wasn't no laughing matter. That he was dipping his nuts and in, in, in salads. It's not. It's fucking gross as fuck. Well, anyway, he got he got charged with um, felony adulteration of food, liquid, and pharmaceutical stuff or whatnot. That's crazy as fuck. Come on, man! What motivates you? Just understand this, Mr. Howard. You bitch ass nigga, when you get out, because you will, I'm pretty sure everybody in Knoxville know who you are. First time you go to McDonald's or Taco Bell or whatever, you niggas going to get you. So you better get ready. Because let's just put it like this. You ain't never not going to go to a Mexican restaurant again. All them people you done did wrong. I better get your ass, Mr. Pope, man. Mm-hmm. In New York, in Queens, they looking for this dude right here. You want to know why? Of course. This New York man bit off a <laughs> this, this dude bit off a bouncer's finger after learning that the bar was closing. What the fuck, man? He, so he gets to the bar late. And he get mad, so he bit off the guard's finger, bro. This is like 4 a.m. in the Queens neighborhood. Hey, man. You ain't never seen Coming to America, Cuddy? It ain't. <laughs> no games out there in Queens, you know what I'm talking about? 
Well, apparently this dude is still at large. Out here biting niggas' fingers off. So, please try to find this nigga before he bite off your husband or your brother's finger if you're from New York City. If you find him, you might get $2,500. Gotta find this biter. Mmm. Mmm, that's enough. Chop chop right there. I gotta enjoy the festivities. Mmm. Shout out to Marsh Madness. Shout out to my better bears, men and women. Speaking of New York City, or New York the state. See, I'm not so much worried about my Baylor women. You know what I see? We in there, baby. But my Baylor boys. We're going to get Syracuse. Them orange men. You know what I'm saying? I'm a bit worried. So... Overall, I want to let her grade. I would definitely get the deep dish bacon pizza again. Honestly, the truth, it's a, it was an A plus plus without it. You know what I'm saying? But all so much going on in the center of the pizza. You to me, you hardly even notice the bacon on the outside. It tastes no different than. Although the pork you get on top. Mm. Now. As much as I commend Little Caesars all the time, cutting. The only thing that can make this a fire, fire deal is if you lowered the price of the deep, deep dish pizza, this shit was $12. And I understand, I understand the ingredients is fire. They're good. I ain't that cheap ass shit. But, you can bring that bitch to $9. Can't nobody fuck with you. Oh yeah, every time I talk about a little season, shout out to Detroit. Detroit, I see you, baby. Motor City. Blake Griffin, what's up, nigga? <laughs> Shout out to Detroit, man. You know, I, a lot of places I want to go to in the world. And, um, you know, you always hear people like, well, I want to go to Cali, New York, this and that, man. I'm a traveler at heart in my, in my you know what I'm saying, my heart. I'm going to go with Detroit, baby. Detroit show me nothing but love. I fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? Heaven. But then I'm going to chill with these last two pieces, man. I'm tapped out. <sighs> Jesus Christ. That was so good. <sighs> so, hopefully you guys got a little Caesars. In your neck of the woods. If not, I'm sorry for you. And uh, yes, the bacon wrapped deep dish, dish pizza is off the chain. <sighs> Refreshing. That, everybody, is my Little Caesars pizza mukbang in the show chop talk vlog review. I hope you guys enjoyed it.
It's your boy RDR, and like I always say, man, food is a gift. So please give thanks. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you don't like this video, I mean, if you really don't like my content, God bless you. Go ahead and hit it with that thumbs down. It don't matter. I'm going to love it like I always have. It's your boy RDR, and I'm signing out. God bless y'all. Take care already. I love you guys, and I'll see you very, very soon. God bless y'all. Take care. Good night.